It's a sub battle in the AFC North. Guys, the Browns report, Bengals breakdown, and Ravens rundown have all challenged the Steelers talk nation to a sub battle this week. We have not lost a sub battle in the entire history of Steelers talk. And right now, we're losing to the Browns report by three subscribers. So if you haven't haven't already, you want to help out the channel, go ahead, do me a favor, click that subscribe button to help us beat the Browns report this week. Welcome into Steelers Talk, Yenzers. My name is Jack Sperry. Welcome into the show. Today, what we're going to be talking about, Bud Dupree is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, meeting with the Pittsburgh Steelers today. But there's a Steelers reporter that, that thinks a reunion could be put on hold. And then we're going to be going over two potential draft targets in the first round for the Steelers that another Steelers reporter says that they love. And then uh, Omar Khan, is he going to be trading up for that left tackle prospect in the first round of the NFL draft? We'll be discussing all this on today's show but first we're going to get into a report here from Jerry Dulock uh, talking about Bud Dupree and how a deal still may not get done between the former Steeler uh, edge rusher and the Steelers Let's, this is what he had to say on his radio program the other day I was told yesterday he is scheduled to come in for a visit about a possible reunion there is no deal done deal in fact there might not be a deal at all but it would be a great move by the Steelers if they can make it work because it gives them a big time backup at outside linebacker. Now, even though Dulac says that there's no done deal he d and there might not be a deal that gets done, I still think a deal gets done and it could get done today, which is another reason to subscribe to the channel, guys, because if he signs today, we're going to have a breaking news video here on the channel. So if you want that breaking news coverage, make sure you subscribe. But you take a look at Bud Dupree and what he's done over the last couple of years, a couple of down years the last couple of years. He's been hurt, right? But 2020 is last year with the Steelers. Eight sacks in 11 games. That's pretty darn good if you ask me, man. I think that this guy is somebody that can be a really premier rotational edge rusher in the National Football League. He's got a great pass rushing skill set, in my opinion. And if you just rotate him in behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith, I think that he could be one heck of a player for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Maybe even get you another six to eight sacks as a rotational pass rusher. It just makes this pass rush for the Steelers, which is already one of the best in the National Football League. That that much better. I would love the Steelers to sign Bud Dupree, but let me know what you think in the comments section. Would signing Bud Dupree be a good move for the black and gold? Type Y if you think yes, or type N if you think no. This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show, so here's what's going to happen. YouTube's going to throw an ad break your way here during the video. Just the way it works, guys. Take advantage of that time by going into the comment section, finding that pinned comment, and answering today's question. All right, so uh, moving on here to some draft rumors. Jerry Dulac, again, so he's been kind of busy here. He, he, he was talking about some of the guys that they like. The Pittsburgh Steelers like in this year's draft class. And he named three prospects, and he said they love two of these guys. So he, he named three guys, and he said the Steelers love two of these guys in round one. So these are the three guys that he uh, brought up on his radio program. Brian Brzee, Darnell Wright. Uh, and Kelly Ringo. So those are the three guys that he mentioned on the program, and he says that the Steelers love two of these guys. Now, in my opinion, I think that the guys that the Steelers like are Brian Brzee and Darnell Wright. Now, Dulac straight up said, like some, a viewer asked him in his mailbag, if, 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 you, if you could pick one person that you think the Steelers are going to take at number 17 overall, who's it going to be? He said Brian Brzee. So I, you know that he's one of these players, and I think the other one is Darnell Wright. But first, let's talk about Brian Brzee here, because uh, is he worth the risk? To me, I think that all of these big-time uh, first round, second round, these top Clemson defensive prospects, Trenton Simpson, uh, Miles Murphy, and Brian Brzee, the tape's just not that good, man, in my opinion. And I'm not sure why the, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers would fall in love with Brzee and they would want to take him in the first round at number 17 overall. You know, he, he's got a great physical uh, skill set. You know, he, he's, he's definitely got a very high upside and as a three technique, he could definitely replace Cam Hayward when he eventually retires. But here's why I don't want the Steelers to draft, Bud, or, or, or draft Brian Brzee. His tape is just not good, guys. Like at all. Like not whatsoever. Like I mean, he was better in 2021, first of all, like 
pretty much everybody on that Clemson defense. And last year, all these guys, Trent Simpson, Miles Murphy, that defense was just not very good last year. And Brian Brzee, when I was watching him on film, I just, I just came away wanting way, way more from somebody that physically gifted. So I think that he's got quite a bit of bust potential. Uh, and that scares me a lot taking this guy at number 17 overall. And then also the Steelers don't really need a three technique defensive tackle right now. I just, I think that they need more of a nose tackle. You have Cameron Hayward as your three technique right now. You have Larry Ogunjobi. Uh, you signed him to a three-year deal to play your five technique, so you're not putting Brzee there, and I just don't think he's quite big enough to play nose tackle. I'd rather go out maybe on day two and get a nose tackle like a Siaki Ika or a Keanu Benton, somebody that's a bit bigger and stronger uh, to play that position, because if you draft Brian Brzee, you're essentially putting him on the bench to start the year. You're probably rotating him into the to that lineup there, along with DeMarvin Leal, Ogan Joby, Hayward. But, you know, he's not going to be a huge impact year one, and I want to get that, that first round pick to be a big time impact player. I'm just not sure if Brzee is that guy. And then the second guy that I think uh, the Steelers, or at least Jerry Dulac thinks that the Steelers love, is Darnell Wright. Uh, and, you know, this is another kind of head scratcher to me because I think that there are better left tackle prospects in this year's draft class. And I have my doubts that Darnell Wright is going to be a left tackle in the National Football League. Uh, uh, who would be the, and another question that the Steelers need to answer here, if they take Darnell Wright, is who's going to be the left tackle? Because, you know, right now I don't really trust Darnell Wright to play left tackle in the league. I think he's more of a right tackle or a guard. And then right now you got Chukwuma Korfor that's going to be uh, taking up over a $13 million cap hit next year, so you're not benching him. And right now, I don't trust Chucks to go over to the left side either. So I think if you draft Darnell Wright, you're kind of in a tough spot if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers, because I don't think you have one player on your entire team that can be a good power run blocker and a solid pass protector on the left side. So I just don't trust Chucks or Wright to play that left tackle spot, which is why I would much rather, even if it means trading up, uh, going up and getting one of those top three left tackle prospects so that you can keep Chucks on the right side there uh, to be that power blocking right tackle and then you have your pass protecting left tackle. That's, that's what I would do. Uh, guys, but let me know right now in the comments section, who would you rather have, Brian Brzee or, Darna, or, Dar or Darnell Wright? Let me know in the comments section which guy you would rather have. Uh, personally, for me, I would rather have Darnell Wright. Uh, if I had to pick between these two, I would rather go with Wright because I know that I'm getting a really solid player. Uh, whether it be at guard, whether it be at right tackle, whether it be at left tackle, I know that Darnell Wright's going to be a very solid pro in this league, whereas Brian Brzee, I think has, I have some questions about. I'm not, he has some bust potential to me, and I'd rather get a solid pro that I know is going to find a home somewhere on this offensive line versus somebody that might fizzle out in two to three years. So uh, next up here on the show, I want to talk about what I would do if I were Omar Khan, uh, which is trade up, trade up for a left tackle. And right now, Omar Khan is definitely thinking about that. He had to say this at the NFL owners meeting this week. This is a really good draft, and I'm very fortunate that my first draft is really good. So I love the idea of having a lot of picks, but you know, all options are on the table. Then he goes on to say, obviously there's an opportunity to trade up to get a player that we think that's an impact player and can help us right away or be a good longtime stealer. We're going to evaluate it, but all options are on the table. And right now, man, if the guys that they're planning on taking at 17 are Darnell Wright and Brian Brzee, I would be 100% in favor of trading up to get Broderick Jones, Peter Skaronsky, or Paris Johnson Jr. Those guys are the top three left tackle prospects in this year's draft class, and I don't want to get somebody that's that played right tackle in college because I'm not sure they can play left tackle. I want somebody that has played left tackle, that has experience over there, that has had a positive experience on that side of the field, and you can keep Chuck Wumakora for on the right side. So in my opinion, if you have the opportunity and you know it's not going to take too much, like you don't have to give up both your second round draft picks or something to go move up, I would absolutely make that move and get your guy at left tackle because I think Chakuma Korfor is much better on the right side than he would be on the left side. And you know I just don't trust a guy like Darnell Wright to come over and draft him and then move him over to the left side. I just don't. I'd rather trade up and get somebody that I know can, can produce from that side of the field. I, that's what I would be more comfortable with 
at this point. So let me know in the comment section, if you're the GM, you're Omar Khan here, what would you do? Would you trade up or would you trade down? Which one would you rather do? Type U in the comment section if you would rather trade up or type D in the comment section if you would rather trade down. That's going to do it for today's show, guys. I really appreciate you. Make sure that you subscribe just in case there's breaking news coverage with Bud Dupree today. There's a pretty decent shot, I think, that he signs today. If not today, then tomorrow. When that happens, we're going to have a video for you guys. So make sure you click that subscribe button and help us beat Browns today in that sub battle.